Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna see something a bit different. I was thinking, uh, well, just driving the car and for some reason something occurred to my mind and is um, how can we, why we don't have languages of some sort, maybe we, we do but I'm not aware of, that don't require that many types, you know. For example, you if you want to add like 2 plus 2, you can do in one byte, so you can assign byte or whatever. But but what if you want to add 10, I mean 10,000 plus 10,000, then you need at least a, a larger container for that. Uh, what I don't like is having to take care about the size of the container you, you, you do. Can we do something different? And also, even if you say, well, use U64 for everything, one is it would use too much... Um, probably memory for some things. But even if that's not a a problem, the memory, it would um it will also have a limit, right? So let's let's just search for that see for for that for a minute. So for example, and here I would like to say large number, right? And I would like to define, we are in B, by the way, as U64. And um, I want to print this thing. And I'll say large number is large number. I, I did it wrong, right? This is first you have it, I mean, the, the column, and then you you have equals okay or assignment uh large number okay so if i don't know what will happen if i call this without the parameter just let's just test it says invalid expression okay i say one for example or zero i can say it says large number zero however what if i also want to have negative numbers for example because um I I want to, to know what is uh, 4 minus 8. And 4 minus 8, 4 minus 8 is something that I would probably like to do. The problem that's not possible and shows me like the largest minus 4 or whatever. Okay, so there's a problem. And, and also we can do 4 minus 5 here and we can find the largest number. That, that's a way of finding the largest number that this can contain. So these, whatever this is, is actually a the largest number for U64. I don't know if this language has U110 or 28 or something, and, and this would be largest number, okay? And it says it's an int, but it's not an int, of course, U one hundred twenty eight. It kind of looks like like U int U int. Hmm. Okay, so uh, it's not uh like. Obvious how to use this, and even then, what if I want 256 byte numbers? Maybe for some reason I need that, right? So you cannot do that. And so, well, why don't we handle numbers a little bit differently, right? I don't know if any language does this. I don't know if if it would be practical for some people, but I, I would like to see it uh, even like as a feature, an optional feature in languages. And in some way of of not specifying these U16 or int or whatever, uh, not even sign or, or, or unsigned, you know, not even that. 
while having both the ability of having them on side and on side. Once, like a couple of years ago, like two years ago in C, I wrote a function that uses strings to just process strings as if they were numbers. And I was able to do it with numbers of hundreds of digits and even thousands of digits. Simple operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, I was able to do like thousands of digits. So this is the maximum I can, and I can only do like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, let's 20, let's say 20. If I want like one more here, then I cannot do it. It's impossible. So that's um, that's a problem which I don't like having. We should not have that problem. You know that this practical maybe for speed purposes and to go near the hardware or something. But then I say, well. What if I want to represent a number no matter how large or how many digits it has, as long as it fits on my computer memory, right? And that for that would be like some sort of an array, right? An array of... Uh, it can be either an array of mm, bytes or a string of characters. That's, uh, that's how I imagine it. So if you do an array of bytes, let's say large, larger number, uh, we can say something like a U8, an array of U8, I guess it's this way, how you define it. And then the length will be something that I would, I would have, I would want. And probably, but the, but the length I would like to be specific for the kind of uh, computations I'm doing, right? So probably I would like to have a function that will return a new type of number, right? Kinda, right? Let's see, and that number would be an array of bytes. Um, let's do function number and these will return an array of bytes uh u8 i mean array of u8 okay that's an array of bytes um okay so here we can pass something and we have to pass a string a string, for example, num num str, and this will be a string. So if I call this function, and I will call it like as a probably this one is what I am looking to call it. So larger number would be as number. And for example, inside here, this string, or I think this single quote string, I think it also works, can write whatever number I want. For example, zero, or a long, long number, even like quite long. But of course it has to, to be only numbers, okay? So you pass this and it should return the equivalent of that as a string of U8. Why would I want to do a string of U8 and not just stay as a string of characters? Well, probably one reason for that would be memory usage. Because if you, if you do this, uh, we can say, for example, here, um, like typeless number uh, would be you know array of u8 uh, then you know some length of the array it has to have some length 
the length would be like let, let's put just 10 for now but then we later will fix that it will return a type plus number okay so how would we transform the num string into a type plus number because right now I would like to print the size of the num string uh, in bytes okay so I would say len num string len okay just to have it like a single variable there and then um i would say num str size or length should i say is length okay so i will like to oh ol oh, well, i don't have defined ol well, so sorry uh function ol oh, well, s a string print the len s okay and here as you can see this occupies 112 bytes okay now imagine you have a list of these guys and it grows so one reason to transform this is to reduce the number of bytes it uses and of course we can keep increasing here all, all we want and let's run it again and it says 148 bytes I mean, not bytes, but characters, actually, which I don't know if one bytes one character here, but, but yeah. Is a string a thing, U8 pointer, it says, C style, a string of bytes, well, I think, yes, it is one byte per character, so would be 148 bytes, okay, of the content of this. Okay, so um, what can we do with this? Can we do something? Can we do something to reduce these 148 to, to some representation that uses less bytes than that? And that's what we want to try to do here. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's possible, but no, no, no idea. So how can we do this? Well, ideally, we would like to find um, like how many bytes we would need first. And we also have, but to do that, we need to know how we would represent it. And we would like to represent it as a, um, how to say it, as, as just as, as, as a contiguous large container of a number. How would, would we do that? I, I, I don't know. However, we can do something else, right? We could do something easier to do. What 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 is easier to do? For example, we could take the three first digits, three by three, and check if they um if they are less than two hundred and fifty six, and if they are, then they fit in one byte. So we would be reducing three to one. And I think that's an easy way of doing this, right? Yes, so... Um, to do that, probably, we need to first check if the... if the two first, two first numbers are less than 25. Why? Because if they are less than 25, it means that even if the if the next one is 9, it will be 249. So that would be a way of doing this. We can do that. Um, yes. We can do that. Okay, so we always be can uh, put two numbers in one byte. Always. It's 99, we can put it. The problem is with 9, 9... Nine, three, and that's not possible. So it's always be it, it, it choice between two, or th two or three, right? Okay. So all other thing is if if the first number starts with one, we can accommodate anything after that. Only when it starts with two or more, is that we cannot do that. But 
Yes. Yeah. So how do we do this? Will this work? Well, that's something that it just occurred to me, but probably, I mean, there's other ways, I guess, that would be transforming this number to the, to, to the binary f way, like zeros and ones, what represents that number to binary notation to binary and then fill that put that binary into into this array that's another way of doing it how would i transform this into a binary form i don't know I, I, I don't know i mean this is has a notation how do you transform a number with a notation to a binary notation uh well for example if you want to transform the number five you go to where you know the four bit or the two to elevate it to the two and put the one there like one there and then one a one in the one so plus plus one is five but here having this large number i won't i'm it's not sure how i would do that and even if i know how i would do that it will take a lot of comp math math to figure out that so for example to figure out that for this number, at least with this algorithm, would be like, okay, what is the number of index that I have to 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 put the one in that transistor number in order for to make this fit? I mean, how many bits do I need to binary digits to write this in a binary form? I don't know. For example, it would be seven here. It would be okay. Seven is something and this and this. Can I do that? Start for for the end. Seven. Okay. Then I go. I put the number seven. Then four. Forty. Forty-seven. Will that work? I don't know. Because I mean, if I go and take set forty, for example, forty would be thirty-two plus. 8 plus 1. I mean, plus, plus 40, 47 would, I mean, 47, 40 would be 32 plus 8. So 32 plus 8. And then if I want to add that 7 to that, I would have to put all the, the 7, what 7 means, which is 4 plus 3 plus 1. And that's that can be problematic because let's say 48, for example, 48. I will say well, 32 plus um. I mean, 48 starting with the eight. So I start with the eight, and I say well, eight is the you know just an eight. Okay, eight. Then 40. Add that to that 40. There's no such a thing as 40. It's only um f I mean is 32 plus 8. So how how do I do that? It's a bit not, not really easy. So uh, let's try to do 48, you know, let's do like, um, so this was one, this is two, this is four, this is eight, this is 16, this is 32. Okay. So 48 would be 32 plus 16, okay? But when you know that you do 48, but if you start f doing number by number, then you'd go eight, for example, and then you have to say, okay, 48, 40, I have to add this to this 40, and I cannot add 40 because eight is already here, so I have to use this one, and you know, th this has to be an algorithm for this, right? But it's not as easy. However, 
I can, probably I can try both approaches. Of course, this one would use less memory. This, this approach right here, because it will use like the most efficient memory storage without compression, right? But this here would, would use more memory, but maybe this one will compute faster. I, I don't know, we can try both. Okay, so, and we can even have a smart number generator that sometimes it would use one or the other, but that's not really true or cool because it will have different representations and it will be different types, you know? One would be, one type would be um, memory efficient and the other would be CPU efficient. Okay, so we have two different types, but Okay, let, 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 let's continue. So we will uh, uh, delay this idea for later because it's, it's something that we probably are in, uh, I don't know, or should I start with this one? Well, I don't know. Because, I mean, let's try to, to do, transform that into its binary form. And then when you have a binary form, then you can do math, binary math, right? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I don't even know the size of this would, would be. I don't even know the length I would require, right? For storing that, that thing. I, I don't know, I just don't know. What I can do is I start, a, for example, a loop. So four, um, and here we'd say i i zero or actually i is len minus one i greater than uh, zero i minus minus okay so here, what I want to do, okay, just to check that we are doing things as they are suppo we're supposed to, let's print um, numstr at i. Can I do this sort of indexing? Let's see. Uh, I will extract this to digit. And digit would be num str at i. Is that possible? I hope. So I would say digit. And instead of printing a line, I will also. Uh, okay, so here we do a well. Uh, I would also like to have just an O. Fn O S string. print s, okay. So here, instead of using OL, well, I would just use O, and I'll print the digit, and uh, yeah, I guess mm, I'll print a new line here. and new line here, just print outside the loop. Then I'll run it and it says unidentified I. So I guess I have to do it like this, then I can do. Okay, so um, here, I don't know what it's doing. Let's reduce the size of my head a bit. Um, it says five five two, which I don't know. What, I don't know what that means because it's not doing what's supposed to. Number string length, print this, and digit number number string i five five. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any idea of what this thing is. Oh, because it's treating it as a, um, it's treating it as a, the hex or the, 
or the how to say it yeah the, the hex value of, of the UTF-8 or something okay yeah that's that's what it's doing so um, I like something like char at or something like that I don't know if that's possible So here it returns a U8, right? Um, how, how I used to fix this? I don't know, but probably here at I, here we have to check to ask his string. Is that what we're looking for? Yes, I think this is now it's working. 2341. Well, that's not. 2341, yes. Or equal then. Because it says 1, 2, 3, so it should say 3, 2, 1. Right? 3, 2, 1. Okay, you have to test the code. That's what I did here, had a bug. So, so now it, it, it seems to work with this new way of doing things. So now I have digit contains each digit. I don't know <laughs> if it's efficient or not, but it contains, so it's a good way of, of testing this. Okay, so from here, we have this digit, and for everything, have a digit. Um, so every digit would have to be, um, to be checked to see how many bytes it needs. But so far I think it won't be possible to do this, but we're just experimenting here, right? So, for example, the first one would be seven, okay? So seven needs three bytes, three bits, right? Am I correct? Yeah, four, uh, four, two, one, three. 421, 421, 3 bits, 7. How do I find out that 7 needs 3 bits? Would be logarithm 2 of 7 or something like that? I don't know. Um, would be some like a number for which, um, I mean, I say 1 bit is only for 1. Right, but then we have 47. Right, so 47, how many bits do we need? Then we have 847, and I think probably it's too much of a thing. Probably because I'm not an expert in this. If I was an expert, maybe I would you can say this is good, this is not good, but as far as I can tell, um. I go to seven, right? And here digit is seven. And here I say, okay, let's convert this seven to to something, right? I would like to convert it to, and actually, what if I subtract this minus A or something? Will that be the same? It says, cannot use string expression as U8. Hmm. So what, I, what I'm trying to say is that I want to say A. Um, like to the value of A. In, I, in C, I can do this. That's what I'm trying to say. 
at. It says at. So, str at. Maybe this is what I want, right? Will it work in the same way? A string at is private. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, let's maybe this is used internally from somewhere else. Add with check. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> What's this? Hmm. Okay. Forget about it. So, I would rather uh, probably do the other thing that I was trying to do. And the other thing that I was trying to do, which doesn't require for me to calculate all that, all that stuff, like how much uh, bytes or bits it needs, um, is the, the thing. But the, the thing is that, that for that, I would leave a regular for loop. But I will still leave, it, leave that just in case later I change my mind. Okay, so here we'll start at zero, as always, the natural loop. And here we'll do less than lang. And then i plus plus. Okay, so here, can I do some sort of sub substring or something? Substring, yes. Okay, int start and end. Start would be I. End would be I plus three. Right? Or actually I plus two. And here probably I could print lines just to check what's going on. And it says we have a back trace. And probably is because the substring with check. So and here of course we're we're trying to do something great and we'll do just a uh, um, it fails, if it fails to do with 3, then we have to do with 2, with 1, or with 0, right? Alright, but maybe we want just to be more precise and say, well, I'll just print here an error in case we commit an error, but... Um, okay, uh, but really what I want to do is I want to do, um, the things that you don't know where it will land the pointer. Imagine it lands just three before the end, that is fine. <laughs> um. But if it doesn't, then we have a problem. But we can do some math to fix that. And we can left the last for, for first, actually. So here we can do something like last. And last would be... Uh, I would like to do a... Um, 
a remainder a remainder and that would be len um modulus three eh. but then it will be variable because sometimes it will be reduced by two and sometimes it will be reduced by three sorry to rain so sorry for the noise um so yeah it's not that straightforward as you can see and it's a bit tiring to write lots of code like this but if you have the energy you can do it by all means so yeah I mean the easiest way of doing it would be modulus 2 and then everything fits in 2 but then it won't, be, won't achieve maximum compression that would be the problem uh, yeah, and this one will be will achieve even more compression. So, yeah, that's the thing. Okay, okay, okay. So what do we do? Um, this this rain is really bothering me. Uh, okay. So, I don't know what we should do. We should probably try this three, approach of three, because it's the, the reasonable middle ground between easy, ease of doing and memory efficiency. Because this one, this one here would be more memory efficient, but it would be a nightmare <laughs> to do it. I mean, kind of. Okay, so we will start here and let's start at zero and we like to get a substring and says while i is less than length. What we can do is we can also start at two, for example. And then we can increase this by three. I don't know. Maybe we should not in increase just by one, and then check if we have to increase it again. Probably yes. Or probably by two, but okay. So first, first, first run. Let's comment this, uh, guys, just a bit here. This this has to be moved here. Uh, this here, I will separate the previous approach from this one. I will comment the previous approach. And, okay. Here, we'll have a remainder, right? What does it mean? If the U divided by 3, how much it will remain? Yeah, but... Probably we don't need this because sometimes it, we can reduce by 2, by 3, by 3, and by 2. So we don't need this. Because it won't help us. Won't help us. Okay, so here we start in 2. So here we do start i minus 2 and i, for example. Okay. That's a safer, slightly safer way of doing this. So in the first loop, it starts at uh, 2 and goes from 0 to 2. Okay? And I will do that and I will break just to test the first thing. Okay? Let's run it. And it says, or must provide the default value of type string or block must provide a default value of type string. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? What's the syntax, I mean? Like, the default. Okay. So, default would be... Can we do break? Uh... Like zero or probably 
No. But then we break. Expression ablated but not used. I don't know what do you mean. Um Okay, I don't know what, how you're supposed to do this. Or... Hmm. So we will, we will, we want the substream with check for now, just substream. Okay, because we don't want to do things that we cannot do. Okay. So. Yeah. I mean, let's run this. Okay, and it says twelve. What is 12? Well, this. 12. Okay. Um, we have 12. And we, if we continue and don't deep break, what will happen? It will do 12. And then we'll increase by 1 and won't do what we want. Um, so what we have to do here is do I plus plus again, or plus equals one, and probably here we can do the same. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. Let's run it again. And we have our long, long thing. 1234, 1234. Why is that? 1234, 1234. Okay, that's that's fine actually. Let's let's just replace it one, two, three, four, five, six, just to or zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. But then, of course, you have to check that this uh, thing would have the correct format, right? So, start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is great. Um, for example... This guy would be enough. Well, we don't know. Uh, what we can do here is do minus 3 and then plus equals 2. And then we have a panic. Minus one, two, out of bounds. Ah, of course we need here to be three. Okay. So now we have three, three sized. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So it, it kind of works. Now we want to do, does it fit on an in, on U8? That's what we want to do. Does this thing fit on a U8? Does it fit or not? That's what we want to do. Or that's what we want to know. And to do that, probably we should be... Or transform it. 
or pars pars you int base we're talking about base 10 right and what else bit size Okay, so what we can do here is, we'll parse, can we, what happens if we do U8, not actually U16? U16, like this. Okay, and we will print the digit. Cannot cast use numbers substring that U16. Ah, sorry. Sorry. I'm new to this one, but I'm learning. U16. Okay. Will this even work? I don't know. Yeah, it kind of works actually. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. Which is great. Which is great. And here we can do the following. If digit is less than 256, it means it can fit, it can fit on a one plank. It means um, U8 digit and that would be U80, that's not the most efficient thing but okay. If digit is less than that you say U8 digit which would have to be mutable, by the way. Your digit is equal to digit that you ate. Okay. And here it says that we don't need parentheses and all that. Okay. I mean, okay. Um, then we have that. Then we'll do U8 digit in the case it's less than 256. Um, right? Yes. Then we'll let's print U8. U8 is U8 digit. What 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 if it's not? If it's not, then U A digit is is something else, which is digit or hmm. How do I delete the last digit? Hmm. How do I do this? Oh, well, I, the dirty way of doing it would be 
would be doing this. Here. But to U8. That of course would be I minus two. I minus two. And here if it's if it fits on the three, we increase by two. Otherwise, we increase by 1. Right? Let's see. U16, U8. What do you mean? Okay, okay. Here, I have to do it in a different way. Here, I have to do this. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, oh, sorry, I'm wrong. This is, I mean, this is not okay. This is still minus three. The end is a i i minus one. Yeah. So let's see now. So one, two, because it started with zero, that's the reason we don't currently take into account that yet. So let's just remove the zeros and go more cleanly just for testing purposes. So one, two, three, U8, one, two, three, which is great. Um, one, two, three, then four, five, six, U8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, why? Because we just lived here to 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, as you can see, it's working fine. Now, we want to see what are the gains of doing this, okay? What are the gains of doing this? Um, how, do I see, how do we see that? How do we find that? Um, so we can do a start index here. Index is always i minus 3. So we can just say start index. And here also start index. Okay. Uh, we, if we want to populate this, we probably want to know. I mean, let's see the last one. The last one is 1293. And that's not correct. <laughs> um, why is that not correct? Oh, 89, it says 47. Um, 89, 47, 1293. 1293. 847. 938. Let's not go into the end. So it's doing that. So we have to take that in account. Yeah, the problem here is that I last points to 93, or to 3, should I say, or to 8, yeah, this is to 8, it points here, the last line, and this 47 is not computing um, because 
it doesn't have three. So it goes as far as it can, which is fine. So here we can add the, the last one. We can do like if lang modulus. Um, not really though, right? Hmm. Not really. So probably say here should I say mute i equals three. Uh, four I said. So here instead what we'll do is <coughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. Um Here we say if if i is less than lang, which is always less than length, right? So less than lang minus one. Is that better? I don't know. <sighs> because I mean this this up here works fine, but it only goes to 89, 47, 12, 93. Which I don't know. 89, 47, 0, 12. Oh here this zero is being missed. It's been not been included. Included. So that's that's a problem. That's the first like big problem. How do we fix that? I mean uh that's hard. I want it to don't not not don't delete zeros, right? So here right here you can see four seven zero and then here four seven one. So it's deleting this zero right here. That's the problem. Why do you delete that zero? The thing is that U8 doesn't, cannot contain zeros. Okay, why can't it contain? Because zero, I mean, doesn't count, let's say. But we maybe we can do something to fix that. I, I don't know, we have to be creative. But, um, yeah, I mean, here it converted to U16, which probably looking backwards and in, in, in retrospective is not a good idea because this conversion uh, gets out the necessary zero, such as this one. So we probably shouldn't convert. Shouldn't convert. Yeah, but but here we have some of, a bit of a problem, right? He's four hundred and seventy. All right, this is not the problem. I'm wrong. I think four hundred seventy is already the U sixteen, so it doesn't convert zeros. The problem is that 470 is greater than, than 256, so it goes through here, and this one will get only the 47, so it will leave later 0, 1, 2. And that is where the 0 gets, gets destroyed, because 0, 1, 2 is 12. And 12 is 12. But in reality, is 0, 1, 2. That's a bit of a problem. To fix this, what we could do is instead leave like a 4 here, right? 
four here, and then move seven zero to the next one. Yeah, because I mean, otherwise, what I can do here is if if this substring starts with zero, so so I probably should do another variable here, which would be substring, and this is would be this one, right? And this would be substring. So, and here, that's a bit of a problem, you would say, right? Zero one two gets transferred or transformed into one two. So here it will get the zero one two, but here it will transform it to one two, and that's the problem. We don't want that. We want it to be zero one two. So probably. Here we have to do something. If substring substring at um what what things do we have? I'm sorry, I forgot this. Lang is lit u16 parse u int substring with check substring after after char all after all before add with check before you string penalize clone compare bytes contains 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 in counts and fields find between indent with index is ASCII, is bin, is blank, is capital, is has, is lower, is oct, is tail, is upper, is replace char. Hmm. Here we can say if starts with zero. So. If it starts with zero, what do we do? We have to do something to fix that mistake. So in the case it starts with zero, how do we fix this? We probably want to add zero as a byte. So in this case, digit would be zero. Digit would be zero. And then the rest will be the rest. So this digit has to be added to the array. Okay. So we have we will do the array reduced num. And this will be an array of u8. The length of this I don't know with what it would be. I cannot know. But would be at least at least uh len divided by two. That's for sure. That's for sure. 
at least. At most, what I'm trying to say, at most would be that. But I'm not sure if it would be a lot less than that. But okay, since at most would be that, then that's, that's fine. So here, if we start with zero, then we we will have a destination pointer. Mute dest will be zero. And in that case, we would do uh, instead of reduce num, we'll just uh, reduced, and this has to be mutable, so mute here. Okay, so this, when it starts with zero, what we'll do is say reduced, and then here we'd say at at p at dest. And we'll set that to zero, of course. And then it will increase this because we've written something there. Okay. And then uh, here we would do the same with the digit. So it's say reduced at this would be um uh, digit or actually u8 digit or should i say digit but probably because it's at least at least two okay okay so will that fix this well we'll, we'll see Uh, okay, it won't because it's it's not, it's not it's not printing the the thing it should print. What it should print is uh, probably later. I should just print the the array instead. Um, well, how can I print it? You know, print reduced. Okay. Undefined thing digit. Yeah, I don't need it, I guess. Okay, what's this? Reduced zero 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 zero. Ninety-three, then I'll always zero. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm. Reduced dust is zero. Reduce dust is U8 digits. Oh, we didn't increase increase this guy. So this dust plus plus. Okay. So there you have it. There you have it. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is how it should be and then this ends with uh, 4701293 4701293 great so we are not losing here we all have other zero we're not losing it still is not ending in 47 which would reach this and we would have six bytes that we didn't use because we compressed them so so far that would be like a 55 percent compression but i still think that we, I, I should do this because because yes okay and also we have to keep in mind we are adding zeros Hmm, so probably maybe even greater than this. Yes, for example, imagine you have 0, 1, 2. Or something like that. I mean, if you have add lots of zeros, those zeros will occupy this spaces. Right? So, well, 
Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, now the problem that still remains is that um, we don't, we're not reaching the end. So it's it reached 1293, uh, as you can see. But then it doesn't, is not printing these guys here. Okay, so the last I is somewhere I mean, I is always greater than length. Um, the problem is that it's not um, reaching the, the end of the list. So why it's not reaching the end of the list? Okay. So why if I print what's remaining, right? I will just print what remains. Remaining would be um I mean because it it really starts ends in I. So I'll start with I. So remain remains. Um, now say how's this nums tr substring start i and remain. And the end would be len and remains it says zero. It says nothing because I is already the thing. So minus three and I. Remains 487. Is that correct? 93, 487. Yeah, it's correct. Now, let's add one number more. 78, 79. And see if it still works. And we have an index out of bounds. Okay. So, and would be probably len... Is this better? Is land better? No, it's not. Um, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing the right thing. And would be land minus one. Okay. Ninety-three, eighty-four. And says seven. And what about the nine? And that's a bit of a problem. Seven nine is right. Eighty four seven nine. Even four seven. And we are not having the nine. So lang is a good idea, then seven nine. <laughs> okay, let's continue testing this guy and I'll do 
another 790, for example, 0. Remain 790. 0, 1. Seven nine zero one What we can do is probably we can add add zeros at the end here. Can we do that? So, in other words, but maybe not, not be the best idea. Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> so, zero, one. Okay, so how do we have to add this guy to dest, right? But not quite, because we cannot add, well, sometimes we can. Right, because this zero one we can add, but sometimes we cannot do that, because for instance, if we do this seventy nine zero, we cannot do that. It would be better to run it again through here, right? Yeah, why it didn't contain it here? Because it kind of it can it kind of uh, reached the end. What if I say minus equals? Will it crash? It doesn't crash and remain zero. 8479. And 790 is fine. What about zero one? Remain zero one. Okay. Okay. But this can cause a problem, you know? Because this may crash. Let let me add one more. Probably it will crash. It doesn't crash. Let me add um, one more. Just to see if it crashes. It doesn't crash. 9091. 9091. Let's add another. 090. 91. Okay. For example, nine nine one ninety eight ninety nine ninety one. White doesn't feel the ninety one guy. Well, because if it does that, then uh, it won't do it very well. Hmm. I mean, it will increase the right thing, the right amount. Uh, the the reason of why it's not doing it here is because it would have to increase it. I mean, decrease it by three. Right. And when it reaches length. And it decreases it by three. Probably it's not the right thing to do. What kind of solution we would we apply? Well, I don't know, but um, we have a read read remains, right? So, what we can do is um, 
we can do reduced and we can like do it before printing reduced reduced is a reduce at best should I say is remains remains you eight Ninety nine, ninety one. And so as you can see, it says ninety one, ninety one, zero, one, two. Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, this is a a consequence of that. It could fit it here, but it didn't. So when it starts with zero, we should also update substring. Yes, to mute, and then we ha would have to read this like better way. So substring would be num substring start index first we would um, the, the start index would have to be increased which means I would have to be increased as well. You find a zero, you have to want to read three more. But the problem is if you read three more, it may be it may not fit. <laughs> so that is a bit of a problem. It may not fit. But I mean Yeah. That's the problem. It may not fit. What if it doesn't fit? Well, if it doesn't fit, it will do whatever it has to do. It's fine, right? I mean, finds a zero. Like, like, let's see here. Find the zero, then just reads two numbers. You should read three. So to, for reading three, what we do is we um, or should we rather just continue? I mean, what if we just continue from here? Will it work? I don't know. As you can see, now it has written one 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 zero two. Eighty nine zero one zero three one hundred and one twenty three. What does it even mean? One hundred and one twenty three, okay. That's fine. So it's better. So you do continue. When you find a zero, you do it continue in order for the next thing to read three things. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
this is a reduction and and reduced can be reduced even more to avoid that and I would say delete many I guess and I will delete all of these guys and I guess we can do it with from dest to lang is that possible is that okay I don't know error it says it says error but it doesn't show me the error oh Lang 76, what do you mean by, that's not the Lang I mean, right? It's reduced Lang. Oh, uh, it's something I'm not understanding. Remains 33, index out of range. At least shows me where it's the crash, so that's that's great. I sixty eight to one hundred and forty four. A that length seventy six. Reduced length. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to think more about it, but let's just test a couple of things. A dot length 76, 68, 144. So I guess this one is 68. A dot length 76. I mean, eh. I don't know what I'm doing here. 146. 143, it says. Let's see if it says 144 now. 144, yeah, so this is the problem. Hmm. 144. 140. Or, okay, so how do I do this? Delete many from line, which is 68 to, I mean, can I say delete last? Delete, last, delete many. Oh, the size. Oh, sorry, I, I, I am wrong. That is my bad. So it would be lang. I mean, it would be reduced lang. Lang minus DST. I don't know if that's enough or I need to do minus one. But okay, 99101. One. Is that an, okay? That's not. It's not. We have to fix that. We're deleting one more that we should not delete. So here, probably we should do test, test plus plus. Is that okay? Will that fix it? Probably. One zero one twenty three. Is that one zero one twenty three? Okay. So it's better. Now we have converted. Mm, and we will we will do a report and we will say it can only remain two right can only remain two 
I don't know. We have to test. This is not tested yet. They will test it, but okay. So reduced. Uh, okay. We can say reduced from length to reduced to reduce that length okay and it says reduced from 153 bytes to 69 bytes which is great which is great 69 bytes not bits bytes so it's not a very great reduction Mm. Yeah, of course it's not optimal, but it might be very well, maybe good enough for lots of purposes. And so now we have a way of representing numbers, which will return a UA array, which is our reduced thing. And that way of representing that number, we can pass it any size we want any size we want of course if we pass it one it may crash so we we'll, may try to fix for that all right now because if we pass it one then uh, it may not be i mean it may work actually let's see that's no, not and says index out of range i zero lang zero what do you mean lang zero should be lang one right oh yeah yeah oh here we have a problem <laughs> so here is one plus one plus lang divided by two so reduce from one to one reduced one Okay, that's better. You know, sometimes you have these kinds of box, right? Mm, so let's not do two. Okay. Okay, reduce from two, two bytes to one, which is great. It says reduced one, two. Remains two, why it remains 12? Oh, it's 12. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, 12. One, two, three. One, two, three, three, zero. It says. Why? I don't know. But it says that. What we can do here is if what we can do here is do U8 that right? So if remains is um greater than zero, right? Because if it's zero, we don't care about that. Will that fix this problem? We don't know. Yes, it does. Remain zero, reduced onto three from three bytes, reduce three characters to one, just one. As you can see, this is a good way of reducing things. It's not the best but it's a doable way, me that I'm not an expert programmer and not, especially not in this kind of stuff. I'm not an expert in this. I think I'm decent, but not, not an expert, not very good as well. Um, 
So now, the thing is here, you can pass whatever you want. Whatever, and I mean whatever you want. Of course, it doesn't support negative number yet, numbers yet, but I mean, here you can see, it works, right? 1, 2, 3, 72, 34, 98, 0, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 98, 0, 7, 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 9, 8, 7, 1, 2, 3, 0, 9, 4, 8, 7. Reduce from 35 to 17. Okay, so this has 35 bytes. It reduced it to 17, which is like half, which is great. Um, so, I mean, now you have these kind of thing, which you can, instead of doing this, you can do a, struct, a structure for a typeless number. This is what we want to achieve here. What we want to achieve here is a typeless number. Any, so this means that it, it transforms a string of numbers, any size, to a number via an array. Okay, so it represented here inside this. Now, what you can do with this? <laughs> well. I don't know. I mean, it depends on, on the things, but what happens if you want to add one to this, to this great number? Well, you have to have a, a, um, a function that does that, right? What, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to say is that languages should have this built into them. Not, not this, but something better, because this is very archaic, right? Something that would say, okay, you have this and then you have that. And I would like to have a, a t t call function that's named add and that add add function allow me to add a typeless number with another typeless number for example or allow me to multiply a typeless number with another typeless number for example multiply this by 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 this or it is squared you know that's that's like that's not possible in the regular language right and not only that i mean you can stick to small numbers, but the thing is that even if you stick to 10,000 or something, that you want, you always will be used the same type because it's type less, right? Of course, this may be a good idea for some. If people may think this is a good idea, others may think this is a crazy, use, not the useful idea, but I always just did it for fun, right? And to illustrate you that languages can be probably structured a tiny bit differently, right? In the case of types, you know, the types, sometimes you say, well, I have this type, another type, and then function only receives one type and not the other. So only int but not unsigned int, or only int but not in unsigned um, short or orientated car or whatever. And that's not flexible enough, I would say. So probably these kinds of things are there. Today I did just this just for fun and completely improvised. But, um, you know, maybe useful, maybe useful. I don't know, this is not, I would say this is an okay implementation, but it's not, it's not a, optimal or perfect or whatever it's just not there but but yeah so if i if the language made this easier to do then imagine i would i would just use any number at any time even programmatically create arrays of these numbers main this is just one example of what can be done, right? But yeah. So thanks for watching me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, this strange uh, video. It has been one hour and 39 minutes, that's a lot. 
I, I didn't think I will make this long, but okay. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, and I see you on the next one.